Teaching theater or making music both come from the inside. You don't need a book uh, to teach or to make music, or you can use a book, but in the end, it's, it all comes from your own creativity. I think that's the common thing. My name is Daniel Zier. Um, people know me because I'm making music, producing music, uh, DJing, but I'm also a teacher in a theatre. I uh, work a lot with uh, kids uh, in primary school. No, 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 Lindsay, mag you gaan houden, joh. Vind jij niet zo'n uh, beetje gekke regeltjes, Willem? Wat is er? Willem is alleen maar wat ik moet doen. De KBL scoort niet ik. Oh. Toen moet Kabi op Giep praten wij tweeën. Toen moest jij eigenlijk op Giep? Uh, ja, en Giep. En toen mocht dat niet? Weet ik nog niet gezien. Dus oh. toen dacht ik, nog gaan jullie maar allebei op Giep. Ik snap dus... het, ja. Hij had het niet gezien. Ja. Nou ja, zullen we het gewoon even goed oplossen? Lindsay daar gewoon weg te lopen anders? Ja, opgelost. Well, I decided to start with teaching when I was 16. Uh, I, I went to the Waldorf school, so there's a lot of, there's a school with a lot of creativity. And, uh, yeah, I, want, I wanted to be a teacher instead of an actor. started with kids uh, who had some language problems and uh, theater is a good way to, to talk and to express yourself. Jongens, uh, ik was de boom niet, eigenlijk. Dat was, uh, die boom was een uh, denkbeeldige boom, gekkies. Oké, okay. um, okay, we zijn nu in de woestijn, Melle. Uh, hoe loop je als je in de woestijn loopt? Liv, kom je meedoen? Hoe loop je als je in de woestijn bent? Ja, heel goed. Loop maar, loop maar alsof het heel warm is. Ga je mee? Oh, niet het is een beetje zwaar dit, jongens. I think it was uh, nine years when I first heard the uh, yeah the real house music from I think that turn of the bass series. It's uh, music from '92. I went to the library because. They, they had lots of CDs, so uh, I came, instead of renting books, I, uh, I came home with, uh, with techno uh, music. And uh, I brought it to uh, people uh, and, because I wanted to show them. And people didn't like it, but I loved it. And uh, I had my own little drum kit made by cans and pots and pans. And uh, like real real drum kit i think i was uh, 12 years when i bought my real drum kit and then my brother he's playing guitar and we had our own, uh, our own little band uh, it was called budweiser and we played in my room and practiced there and composing some songs now i'm trying to Search which element is interesting. Producing music, like the, the digital music, was uh, I think I was 15 years. Uh, I had this 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 software called uh, Scream Tracker, uh, but it was not really serious. It was like German based music, and I was just trying to compose. When I was in a school of art, I saw this software called Propellerhead Reason, and then I realized that there's so much more um, real, uh, uh, good sounding uh, software for for producing, and then. I had my first, I, I composed there my first uh, German bass, uh, good sounding German bass music. The first first gig was in uh, Zeeland, down in, in the south of Holland, and people knew me from MySpace and they asked me uh, if I wanted to do a live set, but I had no live set, so I, I was, that was the moment that I started to, to build one, but uh, I had no idea, I just knew how to produce in Ableton Live, 
but I have no idea how to make a live set, so I did something with a lot of samples from myself, but also samples from uh, other producers to, to get the vibe, you know. So uh, that was in yeah, 2009, I think. I was playing in uh, Germany, in Berlin, uh, a place called Sisyphos. From the start, people were so involved and they were so in contact. They were looking at my, you know, my equipment and, and I never had this, uh, you know, between the songs, like, all the, like the applause and the uh, whistling and the, the biggest applause in the end. That was, for me, the connection. Yeah, there's this guy called Kink, he's a guy from Bulgaria. Uh, when I saw him for the first time, I was like, what the fuck is this? Or what the heck is this? This guy, he, he, he's there with all his energy and he's playing around with a lot of equipment and he's also in contact to, uh, to, the, to, this, to his audience. Uh, people are able to play on his, on his stuff. That's, that's for me the, the, the biggest example of be in contact with your own music and your audience. That's great stuff. I started Crowd in the, in the summer of 2015, um, inspired by my mom actually, because she always had, had this uh, world music uh, in my, uh, my home. There were some elements I couldn't use in, uh, in, in Daniel Zur uh, because it was way slower and there was more, it was more about the percussion instead of the melodies. And, uh, and I wanted to play more DJ sets uh, instead of Daniel Zur live. There is a border between Daniel Zur and Kraut. Kraut is more about percussion. Uh, it, the, the, the main thing is percussion and the groove. And uh, for Daniel Zur, the main thing is more the melodies, the stories in the melodies. Because there's this border, it's not really hard to, uh, uh, to, do, the, to, to do both uh, projects. There's this uh, party called Museum Night, and there's a big after party at the Western Uni, and uh, I'm gonna play there as Kraut, I'm gonna play there on a DJ set, but I'm also perform there as an actor. Well, not really as an actor this time, but as a, as a drummer. It's all about the night and uh, performance or festivals, and uh, the goal is to uh, surprise people with uh, things you don't expect. The, the main thing is I bring my sampler with some nice drums in it, so I'm definitely gonna play some nice samples. That, that's the only thing I'm, I'm really sure of. During the week, I work as a teacher in theater with kids. I teach them how to play or how to dance. Let up, do my na, do my na. Eén, twee, drie, vier. Eén, twee, drie, vier. Eén, twee, drie, vier. Eén, twee, drie, vier. Oké, okay, en nu drie. Eén, twee, drie. Eén, twee, drie. Eén, twee, drie. Eén, twee, drie. Nu even uit volle borst. Spraakwater voor de dorst. I teach them how to make music as well uh, with some nice, you know, iPhone gadgets, iPhone apps. Uh, we make music just for fun. So, ik heb even een stereo meegenomen. Stereo. Wat is dat? Kamelle. 
Kom eens Melle. Ga gaan eerst even een beat maken. Kom maar, terug maar. Oké, okay. wie wil er nog eentje? Voordat we gaan dansen wil ik even dit doen. Kom, Renske, kom snel. Dan mag je komen dansen, Benjamin, als je wil. Uh, Liv, durf jij iets een woord te zeggen, een gekke woord? Ja. Hoe ben jij? Wil je een ander woord zeggen? Wacht even. Hallo. Oké, okay, komt ie. Hallo. 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 Wie wil er ook iets zeggen? Uh, Mel is al geweest. Uh, zeg maar iets. Doe uh. jij? Uh. Hier druk je hier eens op. When I teach uh, kids, I work a lot with themes. Uh, for example, fairy tales. With small kids, you can't really uh, ask them to have dialogues or conversations. So you, as a teacher, have to play a role uh, or you have to involve yourself with, those, with the kids uh, to bring them in, in those, for example, those fairy tale uh, creatures. We were dancing like butterflies or walking like a huge uh, giants or um, walking like little midgets. We use a lot of fantasy. We travel a lot during my lessons <laughs> through the whole world or the whole universe. Very, very important for, uh, for kids uh, to express uh, because those days uh, are more about uh, results instead of uh, expression or creativity. What are you doing? Uh, een klein, uh, kleine documentairtje over. Uh, Opstel. Nee, nou ja, over, uh, over mij. Muziek, uh, ik doe daarnaast nog ander werk. En dat is als DJ. En dan ging ze een beetje kijken wat ik daarnaast allemaal doe. En dat is werken bij Opstel. Snap je? Wat is dit? Maar welke muziek? Logo Sonne. Hoe? Logo Sonne. Ik zit meer in de techno muziek. Ik zit meer in de feest in de club. Ik vind het wel leuk. Ja, dat vind ik wel leuk, nemen we dit. Ja, weer, weer, ja, dat is moeilijk te zeggen. Ik doe meer uh, vier kwarts maand. Ja, weet ik. Ja, dit is meer, dit is meer een beetje let, rap en een beetje Latin is dit. En hoe lang doe je dat dan? Sinds 2008. Ik maak muziek sinds mijn vijftiende. Ik ben nu 31, dus kun je nagaan. Maak, maken jullie ook muziek? Nee, ik doe dit voor muziek. Ja, meer dit. Maar iets minder commercieel nog. Wil je het horen? Ja, ja, gewoon. Doe een stukje. Doe even uit. Hij gaat het laten horen. Okay. Even mijn uh, muziek verkopen hier. We zullen zorgen dat het op de radio komt. Weet je dit? Oh. Weet je zoiets? Dat zijn echt van die clubmuziek. Hè? Echt van die clubmuziek. Ja. Dus dat. Ja. En dat maakt hij allemaal zelf. Ja. Ja. Heb je al een eigen studio? Eigen studio. Hè? Eigen studio, alles gek. Dus Melle die trekt zomaar je jas uit. Terwijl je, terwijl je hem gewoon aan had. Ja. En hij trekt gewoon je jas uit. Ja. Hé, hey, je kan toch ook vragen of je zijn jas aan mag? Wat is er gebeurd? Hier is een um, trekker! Hij deed heel vervelend, want ik ging naar jullie op dat ding. Oh ja. En toen ging hij me duwen. Echt, Davy? Ja, maar toen wou ik hem oh, ook duwen. Dus je ging uit frustratie? Toen, ging wou, jij, toen ja. wou ik hem ook duwen, maar toen trek je Trok ik. Zijn jas uit. Klopt dat, Davy? Hé, hey, loop eens ja. niet weg. Echt? Zo dus het kan. Oké. Okay. Nou, opgelost. <laughs> Geniaal. I will always wanted to, to do both. Because um, just making music, that doesn't work for me. I can't be locked up in a studio. Uh, I, I need to be in contact with, with, with people. Music is, is, is great, and, but it, there's a di more distant. If I work with people or with kids then it's kind of direct for me it's great to ha to do both because i'm always looking forward to the weekends because playing or doing the dj sets it's great but also looking forward to uh, during the week because the contact with the kids and yeah, having this pure conversation it's, it's magic you know I am so delighted.
Tá com o neco 